Hey everybody, it's Allie and I am at my computer and what I wanted to show you in this first video here is how to add text into a circle. That's going to be how I'm going to do my journaling for story number one in my December daily album this year. So I'm going to show you how to do this in Photoshop. I often do it in Illustrator because that's another uh, Adobe program that I use, which is I use for most of my handwritten things and stuff like that. But I know that most people are using Photoshop and or and or Photoshop elements. So this should be similar, similar sort of t techniques, similar sort of similar set of uh, steps to get to the same place, right? Lots of things have similar steps. Okay, so we're gonna we're in Photoshop. This is a four by six canvas uh, at 300 dots per inch. And I'm going to start off by coming over here. This is the more the the more tools and I'm going to grab the ellipse tool so if you can't see that sometimes it's underneath um, here you go you can see where I'm selecting that if you come over here you can just start click and drag but I don't want to do that so I'm going to delete that I actually I'm just going to double click I have that um, ellipse tool selected if I double click it I can put in exactly the size that I want so I want a circle that's 3.5 inches I'm going to put 3 pipe 3.5 in by 3.5 in this is allows you to set the specific size and then I can say okay so now I have my circle established this is the size of the circle that I want for my journaling block uh, you can leave it black if you want but I'm gonna make it white on the inside this is gonna be printed um, you know, on white photo paper probably is what I will use or maybe some matte presentation paper. I think at this point I'll leave the um, stroke on there. That's the outline so that I can see where I'm cutting it out. Actually, I might not need that because I'm probably gonna use a circle punch to, to punch it out. But for this, for right now, let's leave it on there. The next thing I'm gonna do is I have actually already typed up what my little December note is going to be. So I caught, I'm gonna copy and pay, copy that then I'm gonna come back into Photoshop, grab the type tool, click about, you know, somewhere right in the top here, and it's gonna actually already place some, you know, random text inside of there, right? And it's also gonna use whatever defaulted font I had. So a couple things I'm gonna do, I'm gonna switch this to a font. Let's do mystery typewriter today. I'm gonna to start typing that in. I'll pick that one, mystery typewriter. And I'm going to need to make a couple adjustments. This actually I can put my, let's select that, click Command V. And so now my uh, text is in there and it's not ready to go, obviously, but it's, it's there. Okay, so I'm going to select all. So I have all the text selected. Obviously, it's too big for this circle right now, too. So let's make a few adjustments. I'm going to change the size. You can do this over in this properties panel. Um, or you can just do it up above. Let's see. Okay, so let's start with size nine just so that we can make some adjustments. Nine's pretty small, uh, but nine is can also work just fine. So right now you can see that it's that it is touching the outsides of the circle. It's also right justified. So we want to do a couple things. We want to center the text. So that's one spot you can do it. You can also do that. Uh, right over here under the little paragraph tab. So centered text is great, that's what I want. The next thing that I need to fix is I don't want it to be touching the outside edge. And depending on what size your circle is and what size your space is, you may want that to happen. Um, but in my case, I want there to be some space between the outside of the circle and where my text is. So to change that, I'm gonna go up to Window, I'm gonna select the paragraph window and that opens up and you can see right here that it gives you some different options. So let's just do something really random. Let's put in like five points right there and you can see that where that shifted uh, was along the left edge when I'm looking at the left edge of the circle. So let's do that on this side as well. Let's put in five over here and that's gonna bring it in on the other side. Let's exaggerate it a little bit more so you can see, let's put 10. I'm just picking random numbers. I don't always remember what is going to be a good number for that, um, but this will work. Okay, so that is nice in terms of, right, it's got, we have lots of space around the outside, so I like that. The next thing that we're going to do, I'm actually just going to come up here and I'm going to return, I just returned the eye down. 
I, let's see, I, dear December, I'm writing a letter to December here, but I'm thinking that maybe I will put the title on my photo so that this can just be my journaling. Um, so that is a fine place for that to begin. I am going to make my font a little bit bigger because I want it to fill in the circle. So let's, we can, we'll do it either in either of these spots. Let's see what 10 point. So 10 point is like, fits perfect. So that, that's going to be just right for me. I'm going to do, I'm going to go with this. Uh, a couple other things you could do here. You could make your text a different color if you wanted to. Um, I could, when I print this out, I could run it through the mink machine if I wanted to. I think I'm just going to start with black, printing it out on black. I'm also going to go up and I'm going to edit and check the spelling just in case. Um, I did pull this from my uh let's see let's skip that one we're gonna ignore rewatch i'm gonna put a dot in there or a dash rewatch um let's see what was i just saying i don't remember oh i i got it from my notes app and so the notes app does check spelling so i had hoped that the spelling was right already but it's always nice to do a double check there so now i have my circle my, my text circle, my text in a circle, and it's ready to go. So I'm gonna go ahead and print it out and meet you back over at my table.